Hello, I'm Chris. And I'm Sam. And we're from Republic Manufacturing, and we're here today to talk about our claw pump. So give us a general overview. What is the, what is the claw pump? This is a rotary claw pump that Republic manufactures, um, and it's a vacuum pump for rough applications. It's mostly like a positive displacement pump, but it has a few features that kind of differentiate it. Okay, and so applications, what would you use it for? You could use this for medical, dental, pick and place in the semiconductor business, CNC routing, um, thermoforming. It's a pretty long list of things. Okay, now how is the vacuum produced? Kind of take us through the technology. Sure, so these are counter-rotating lobes, and you have your inlet here on the port that's not shown right now, but as these rotate, air is moved from the inlet and compressed here on the discharge side. And so the main feature here is that you have internal compression on this pump, and that's kind of what differentiates it from other pumps. And so this internal comp compression squeezes that air outside, and that's where your compression ratio is created. And so that continuous motion causes the inlet to cause, uh, have suction. It looks like they're touching. It does, but they're not. Uh, there's a few thousandths of an inch all along this profile. And wow. so that's actually one of the hardest things about this pump is to manufacture, but rolling contact is not allowed here. You'll have a, a loud crash. So these counter rotate, and even when they're at full growth, because of thermal growth, they're not touching. So it's, my understanding, it's pretty high precision machining. We spent seven years in the development of it. So these components made here? Yeah, all, most of these components are all made here. Uh, we bring in castings, um, which make up the shell. Um, it's kind of clamshell together. And then everything inside of it, uh, the drivetrain, is all manufactured here. Um, and so the claws and the castings are probably the hardest things to manufacture because the tolerance stack up is so high that you need to have every part be really precise in order for this to never touch. Okay. And seven years in development, um, why couldn't we have done it quicker? Well, I mean, iteration. Um, a, lot of, a lot of the parts are really difficult to manufacture. As you can see, this profile is not, uh, you know, a standard shape. And so uh, it's actually a pretty complex equation so that these are involutes of each other. And so that's kind of the difficulty. Um, also these castings have to align to each other perfectly because that's what locates the bearings. Mm -hmm. And so if they don't align perfectly, then you're not gonna have a working pump, so. It's my understanding that the, one of the big advantages of this is efficiency. So tell me if some about how the efficiency compared to some of the other pumps. Sure, yeah, the internal compression I just talked about actually is what adds all the efficiency because you're getting the air uh, a head start on compression. Usually pumps discharge the air and that air stacks up at the discharge and that's what causes their pressure ratio. But what this does is it actually compresses inside of the chamber and that can increase your efficiency up to 30% compared to other things like vein pumps and things like that. Wow, so if I compared this to a 10 horsepower on another kind of pump, what could I get away with here? So you could be using you know, seven and a half and kind of achieve the same thing. It gives you a lot more vacuum per horsepower. That's a big deal. Yeah. And when it comes to maintenance, uh, you know, what, uh, what am I looking at? Is my maintenance team gonna be more happy with this pump, less happy? They should be more happy. The, the fact that these aren't contacting and that they're synchronized with gears means that you're, you have a dry running chamber. And so the dry running eliminates the need for sealing any oil or you know, water like on a liquid ring pump. And so that really benefits the, the maintenance team because they don't have to keep maintaining the, the, the pumping chamber or uh, replacing veins on a vein pump or things like that. It should just run on its own um, as long as you're you know, changing, doing routine oil changes and filter cleans and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty low maintenance. Okay, so we have one put together on this side. So sure. kind of take us through the outside of here. So the inlet assembly here is integrated to all of the pumps. Um, and what it does is it protects the pump um, from ingress of components and from getting clogged. Um, because the pumping chamber, although it runs dry, you don't want it, your process gas to, to fill it with whatever your process particulate could be. And so you have a relief valve heel that, that, that we manufacture here. Um, and what this does is it prevents you from oversetting the relief valve, but it gives you adjustability. So you can actually set it to your process. Um, and so what that does is it controls the pump and makes sure that you're not overpressurizing it essentially. And so we have a filter here that's easy to clean for that because you don't want if you're filtering your process gas, you, you don't want to uh, bypass that with your relief valve. And so you can clean this easily as well. Um, there's even a differential gauge here to let you know when to clean it. And so it's really all in the name of protecting the pump. You want it to continue running and you want to capitalize on that benefit of being low maintenance. There's some other safety features, I guess, that are built in too. So there's a check valve that's also integrated. And so that's going to control the flow direction. So that makes sure that air is not going in the wrong direction if you have some kind of back pressure in your system or anything like that. So that also protects the pump. Um, and there's also a final integral screen that's not seen here um, that's basically a wire mesh. And what that does is it catches any large particulates. It acts the same way as a filter does, but it's kind of like the last defense before the pumping chamber. 
So Sam, please explain duty cycle. So this pump can actually handle a broad array of duty cycles. It can handle continuous duty cycle, meaning the pump is running at full vacuum nonstop. Um, it can also be cycled uh, for thermoforming, for example. Some people are cycling it over a few seconds. Um, and then it can also be stop-start um, you know, with a VFD, or it can be ran you know, every few months in the medical industry. So it can handle a broad array of duty cycles. Excellent. So the Republic Claw Pump is manufactured here in Dallas, Texas, built in the USA. Please contact one of our sales team members and we'll get one quoted for you. Thank you.